You will often find yourself staring into the abyss trying to come up with that perfect sequence of words to start an essay or an email or pitch a project or finish up a design you made or a code block and possibly also trying to find that juicy ideal icebreaker that will eventually lead to hooking up with your soulmate who's probably eating nachos on the other side of the planet and also probably doesn't care how much time you invested in building your little poem. And this is when the good enough mental model should kick in. This outlines the idea that there are some things in life that do not have to be perfectly done. Like again trying to find that perfect thank you for your email outro sequence plus flexing your conclusion crafting skills. And this way you'll be able to free up some time by eliminating the less important. And this can expand in your day to day life as well when looking at cleaning up your house or ironing your clothes or cooking that perfect dish. As most of us are not always able to settle and continue to tweak each word or phrase or color. And eventually we end up spending a few more hours so that we can find that sweet combination of red. And this is what I'm kinda doing right now as well. And I want to make a point that the world is an intimidating place. It's essentially dominated by uncertainty, disease, hunger, nature, but also by love, positivity, community, and care. The world is a sparkling cocktail of good enough, with you being part of it. And I of course believe that we should all work together to improve and enhance our quality standards, thus improving the good enough mental model as well. There are people out there who are too afraid to start a business or start writing or drawing or creating music, people who are afraid whether their skills are too generic or unoriginal, forgetting that nothing is ultimately original and ideas are built on ideas. And that hunch, that instinct is uh, good enough as well. I mean, help us survive predators by asking ourselves whether or not our tiny bow is a lethal enough weapon before trying to engage, say, a rhino. We've built quality standards and this is pushing the world forward, right? But balancing things out is something we haven't figured out yet. And of course we have people there who tried and tried to succeed in a specific field, bootstrapping and piggybacking the road to success. But think about those who are still stuck behind because they think that their contribution to humanity is not worthy. Essentially not good enough to be released into the world. And this is based on numerous factors. One should of course think for himself before asking a question. But not long enough so that the one who has the answers goes away. An individual should not be afraid of establishing standards and presume that he already is a one level higher than he think he is. It's faking till you make it with a grain of salt. By being constantly exposed to good and bad feedback you'll eventually develop a thick skin. You'll learn what works and improve day by day. But again you should not struggle for perfection. Good enough is good enough. Writing a script for a YouTube video is in my experience far easier than most people think. This is never going to be perfect of course, but providing a small amount of value for someone is a great thing to achieve and the value will eventually compound and you'll also refine your writing experience. And remember what is obvious to you can be amazing to others. And it's about finding that good enough spot while using the speed of delivery in your future life endeavors as well. If someone asks you for a book suggestion, you don't need to spend a few days thinking about what might be the perfect book for that particular person. You can simply suggest a good enough book. This is how you can keep people engaged, rapidly talking about ideas and consuming the actual content. So what if that person didn't quite understand that Holden Caulfield reference and you did? A lot of times I find myself pretty much stuck as I might face some unusual concepts that do not make sense to me. And if people start attacking you with harsh feedback and criticism you are still winning. One should strive to obtain that good enough balance and not fall into the extremes. If you are working on a project that's important to you and ultimately relevant to society, you should be using the good enough concept and stop beating yourself up and trying to counterbalance the other duties you need to perform and thus providing the same amount of attention, such as cooking the perfect meal or having your shirt perfectly ironed or the house looking like the ones in an IKEA magazine. And of course you should pick your priorities with love and care. Pick some and get rid of the rest, or at least allocate some less attention to it. And I suppose that the overall goal of the good enough philosophy is to push ideas and resources forward, without essentially thinking that much about the chances of failure. As this again is a great way of consuming and deconstructing that idea, getting feedback and improving the way you think about it. And engaging nature with a good enough mentality model should be a good approach as well. Such as admitting that the world resources are finite and should not be abused. The computer you are using right now is probably good enough for your current context and purpose, but it's still better than the ones we used to send a man on the moon. The lamp you own right now provides a good enough light for your reading and you should not buy a second one just for design purposes. Having that meal which is not 100% properly balanced in terms of meat to vegetable ratio should be still good enough to keep you going. And adopting this type of mental framework is not ultimately easy, as one will also encounter friction which will eventually simply make one stronger. And we pretty much got ourselves into a hole, as abundance and greed to obtain perfection and competitive edge followed us like a shadow for millennia. And striving to obtain a perfect relationship with one another as humans is not possible. 
but obtaining a good enough relationship with everyone and working towards righteousness and overall optimal living conditions for everyone is at least something we should hope to ultimately achieve. And again, please let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts about the philosophy of good enough, how you plan to apply this in your day-to-day -day life. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again very soon.